I think it's good to know that the, the term numeracy is a, is a contraction of uh, numerical literacy. Uh, numeracy refers to functional mathematics as it is applied in everyday life and professional settings. Given its close connection to daily practice, numeracy is increasingly understood as a social practice rather than merely an academic subject. Uh, it's not primarily about performing basic pen and paper calculations with numbers and fractions, but rather about interpreting numerical information in everyday context, whether in tables, diagrams or graphs, engaging in problem solving with numbers, making decisions based on numerical data, and reasoning with numbers, among other activities. I think mathematics education must keep pace with societal changes in our increasingly digitalized and mathematized world. Uh, in addition to potentially pursuing other objectives, mathematics education curricula worldwide claim to equip students with the skills necessary to navigate quantitative situations. However, in primary and secondary education, the shift towards a more numeracy focused approach has been slow. Uh, a readily achievable step would be to make explicit how mathematics is applied in other subjects and in daily lives of students and their families. More challenging, however, is reducing the emphasis on pen and paper procedures, adopting modern tools instead, and engaging students in reasoning about the outcomes. Equally complex is the task of transforming final examinations and placement tests to better reflect the use of numeracy in realistic everyday context. Let me begin by stating that, in my opinion, students today have the same potential as they did 20 or 30 years ago, perhaps even more so, given their easy access to fast sources of information, calculation and communication tools. It is important to remember that PISA measures mathematical literacy, which is conceptually very similar to numeracy. PISA divides mathematical literacy as the ability of students to formulate, employ, and interpret mathematics in a variety of contexts. This includes reasoning mathematically, as well as using mathematical concepts, procedures, facts, and tools to describe, explain, and predict phenomena. Additionally, PISA employs a representative sample of students, ensuring that all performance levels are accounted for. Therefore, PISA scores can serve as indicators of both the modernity and equity of national educational performances. So, low PISA scores should thus be seen as a warning sign indicating the need to invest more time and research resources in all students focusing on inclusive approaches and relevant content that can be applied in everyday life and professional settings. Furthermore, incorporating modern tools and giving greater attention to data science and related topics is a logical and necessary step forward. Uh, I think two themes are important in educational challenges ahead. Uh, the first is regarding content. Uh, how can we strike a better balance between the use of modern mathematical tools and traditional pen and paper procedures in arithmetic and algebra, both in teaching as in assessing? Uh, the second is recording uh, educational policies. Uh, how can we shift away from the use of mathematics education as a selection tool, as a gatekeeper, and as a source of math anxiety and aversion? Uh, how can we transform mathematics education into a truly inclusive system that equips all students with the skills to manage their lives and succeed in their future professions? Uh, those are really the challenges, uh, I think, for our educational system and for our schools uh, all over the world. I think that uh, successful numeracy education, of course, addresses knowledge and skills but always within context and increasingly through the use of higher order skills. This is critical thinking, reasoning with numbers, decision making and so forth. Uh, equally important, uh, successful numeracy education recognizes uh, the significant role played by dispositions, including math anxiety, uh, as well as issues of equity and inclusiveness, uh, especially 
the change uh, in addressing more higher order skills is necessary for every student because every student will encounter quantitative methods in their daily lives now and in the future, whether in finance, health, media, citizenships, and in their everyday activities at home and their work, our world has become more mathematized and every student uh, should be educated and equipped to cope with those situations. 